Paolo Dybala is one of the most brilliant attacking players of his generation, who gradually faded away at Juventus in recent years. And now, having moved to Roma, the Argentinian diamond seems to have found a place where he will shine bright. We'll tell you why it is in the capital of Italy that Dybala is turning into one of the most brilliant attacking players in Europe, and what Jose Mourinho has to do with it right now. So, hit the like button and let's get started. Overall, Dybala's transfer to Roma came as a shock to many fans. Last summer, Paolo's contract with Juventus was expiring and the parties could not agree on the terms of the contract extension so the Argentinian became a free agent. It was expected that a huge queue of top European clubs would form for La Jolla. Getting such a player for free is a luxury, wouldn't you agree? However, Paolo ended up at Roma. Roma, which did not have a very star-studded squad even by Italian standards, and finished sixth last season. That is, the club couldn't offer the player Champions League participation. So, why Roma? There are actually several factors for that. The first is Jose Mourinho. The Portuguese's name still attracts star players and he knows how to convince them. And although Jose has not been trending for the past 10 years, he continues to win trophies, even if it's just the Conference League. Mourinho called me. I made a decision in a few minutes, Dybala said about the reasons for his choice. I am joining a team that is on the rise. The club is laying a solid foundation for the future, and it's a privilege to work with Jose Mourinho, he added. It seems that the Mourinho Dybala duo is a perfect match. At least, that's how it looks so far. Just look at their communication during one of the matches. And the Italian media, who went crazy after the transfer was announced, seem to have known that from the start. Paolo was attracted both by Roma project in general and by how much they wanted to see him in Rome. The days leading up to the contract signing were extremely emotional for me. Everything was decided by the swiftness and determination that Roma showed in wanting to invite me, Dybala concluded. Another reason why the Argentinian will definitely not regret this move is the fans. The reception he was given by the fans was truly royal. About 10,000 fans came to welcome the new member of the family. Do you even need any more motivation after that? <laughs> I'm honored to be here with you today and to feel your support. Rome is my destiny. I've dreamed of visiting this city since childhood. And here I am, shot Paolo's head to the fence. The Argentinian experienced another culture shock in Roma's home match against Shakhtar before the start of the season, where he stepped onto the Stadio Olimpico pitch for the first time. You want and must give everything you have for such fans, don't you agree? Roma fans are similar to the Argentine fans in terms of passion for the game. There is a wonderful madness here. I feel this affection. Roma fans are more important than family. They live for football, just like us. Paolo couldn't stop praising the fans. And you can understand the Tifosi. It's been a long time since a ready-made superstar in his prime joined their team. They literally went crazy when the transfer was officially announced. On the first day, fans broke this year a record by buying 530,000 shirts with Dybala's name and number 21 on the back. Before that, the record belonged to Cristiano Ronaldo. Back then, Juve fans bought 500,000 shirts. That is, this transfer paid off for Roma on the very first day since one t-shirt costs 130 euros. And the club receives 40% of sales under the terms of the contract with New Balance. It's not difficult to calculate that the club earned around 27 million euros on that. And this is based only on the results of the first day, mind you. Dybala's salary at Roma is 4.5 million euros per season. This transfer already looks almost perfect, and we've not yet moved on to the game advantages offered by Roma for the Argentinian magician. Dybala is talented. His leadership qualities, although he looks 12 years old. 
He's got those skills while winning trophies with Juventus and that's what we need. Roma main striker Tammy Abraham described Paolo. And he's right in his every single word. It's only been a few months since the transfer and the Argentinian has already set one Roma record. The goal against Finnish HJK made him the fastest player in the club's history to score in the Europa League after coming on as a substitute. It took him only 69 seconds. But what's much more important is that Paolo finally has a playing rhythm and this allows him to show a great game. He appeared in Roma's starting 11 in all the first seven matches of the season. It's hard to remember how long it's been since Dybala started seven matches in a row. Dear my guest 2016-17, journalist Fabiana Della Valle tweeted. Well, Fabiana exaggerated. In fact, but the last time Paolo played from the first minutes of seven matches in a row was almost three years ago, in January-February 2020. After that, injuries, bad form and lost competition did not allow him to get into the game rhythm, which was a huge problem for the football player. It wasn't easy at Juventus in the last couple of years. The changes have benefited me, Paolo says. Dybala shines at the start of his career at Roma. He has five goals and two assists in the last seven matches. Moreover, he shows himself in big games. He already provided an assist in the match against his former team, Juventus, and also scored against Inter. The Argentinian had the highest rating among all Serie A players this season at the end of the first month according to who scored 7.57. He is currently a runner-up, second only to Lazio's Milinkovic Savic. Jose Mourinho's Roma play in a 3-4-2-1 formation and in it Paolo most often plays the role of one of the two tens alongside Lorenzo Pellegrini. Schematically, he's located in the right half space, but a special one doesn't limit his movement on the pitch. Dybala constantly swept swings with Pellegrini, drops back into the defensive midfield area to receive the ball, cuts inside the center for interplays and to look for a shot on target. Only once this season has Mourinho used Dybala in different positions. In the match against Inter, he came on on the edge of the attack. And the experiment paid off. Paolo scored. So versatility is another virtue of the Argentinian magician. Dybala has always been distinguished by his high game intelligence. For example, in a Serie A match day one, in this episode of a match against Salernitana, he demonstrated a great rapport with Abraham and Zaniolo. The players' movement and their interaction make it seem as if they have been playing with each other for a long time, although it was only the first official match for Paolo as part of the new team. In this episode, Dybala has a great sense of the episode and botness, making a run to immediately receive a pass from Abraham. That is, Paolo knows how to develop the episode and where he needs to be even at the stage when the ball is still in Zaniolo's possession. Due to smart and timely moves, Dybala drives opposing defenders crazy. He knows how to move not only in such a way as to receive a pass, but also to competently free up a zone for a partner in a penalty area. Dybala's move to Roma is also quite interesting for the football romance fans. Paolo reunited with Andrea Velotti, with whom they once played at Palermo. With his game for Roma, Paolo has regained his place in the Argentina national team, which used to be unstable before, and now he will almost definitely go to the World Cup. L'Albi Celeste fans rejoice, they finally have someone who can be a reliable backup for Leo Messi. Paolo Dybala is 28 already and he must carefully wait every next step in his career and choose the right project. In 2020, Roma passed into the hands of American businessman Dan Fritkin, who set the goal of bringing the club to the elite of world football. It started with the invitation of the reputable Jose Mourinho. As we have already mentioned, Jose became the person who was able to convince Dybala of the scale of the project and sign a three-year contract. Paolo even went for a salary reduction from 7.3 million euros per year to 4.5 million in Rome, which can increase to 6 via bonuses. However, if the project doesn't live up to expectations and Roma, say, doesn't end up in the Champions League at the end of the season, then Paolo will be able to leave the club. There is a clause for this in his contract. What's more, the buyout fee varies for different clubs, but Roma can waive the clause if they raise Paolo's salary. 
So, Dybala got a serious challenge and a powerful motivation to bring back Roma, himself included, to the Champions League. Currently, the club is one point behind the Champions League spot, but has every chance to get there and even compete for the league title. An incredibly exciting season awaits us in Serie A and Paolo Dybala promises to be one of its central figures. And it's definitely worth watching. And that's all for this episode. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our new videos. See you soon.